today we're going to make sweet and sour pork. This is one of my favourite dishes. It's very, very easy to make, extremely flavourful. It's one of the kind of things that you think of when you have a Chinese, you think of sweet and sour. This is a very, very healthy version. So it has lots of peppers, pineapple, onions, spring onions as well. So it's a, it's a very healthy recipe. Um, very little oil, which is good and full of flavour. To begin with the sweet and sour pork, first we need to bring the crock pot express up to temperature. We select brown and saute. This is approximately 1.2 kilos of pork. This is pork loins. I've sliced them myself and therefore they're cubed, diced, ready to go. These peppers, here we have red, green and yellow, which will add lots and lots of colour, lots and lots of flavour. Onions, we have white onions and red onions. We have the pineapple. Now this is tin pineapple, already sliced, already cut, so it's ready to go out of the tin. I've separated the juice, so we have pineapple and pineapple juice, approximately 100 millilitres of juice. Corn flour, now corn flour is, a, is used for thickening. We have sugar, sugar adds an element of sweetness. That's the sweet about the sweet and sour. Small pinch of salt. Spring onions. Now I have two variations of spring onions. I have them sliced, ready to add into the meal, cooked. And these are stringed and they for garnish. We have water, this is for adding for the sauce. We then have Worcester sauce. We have soy sauce, we have apple cider vinegar. We also have paprika. So the dish is beginning to heat, the crock pot is ready to go, so I need to add the oil. Used for frying. We then want to add the pork. Now with the pork we want to add the paprika. That allows the colour to mix with the pork. And that's now ready to add straight into the crock pot. So we can switch off, we can start with the pineapple juice. And the cider vinegar. We then want to add the soy sauce. The Worcester sauce. The salt, sugar, and give that a mix. You can then add the main ingredients, the peppers, the onions, and the sliced spring onions. We're reserving the pineapple for the end. Garnish for the end. And thickener for the end. And this is corn flour. So we want to give it a bit of a mix and then we're ready to pressure cook. So we want to select manual. I personally use turbo mode on here, but it doesn't matter too much. You'll find that it'll cook at a slightly higher pressure and therefore make the food slightly softer. We want to apply the lid, so making sure that it's set from vent to lock. We don't want to leave this on vent, otherwise it will be very difficult for the pressure to form and the steam will keep purging from the top. We then want to set it to approximately 12 minutes. Meanwhile, we've got about eight minutes ready to go. I'd like to show you how to do rice. Rice is just simple, instant rice, two minutes in the microwave. 
We can also heat the plates as well. So with a plate, all you have to do is add a little bit of water. And put that plate in the microwave. You then want to run it for approximately 30 seconds. That water can then be transferred to the next plate. Which can then be run for another 30 seconds. So we have the rice now. And this says it takes two minutes in the microwave. So whilst this has been cooking, I've been able to set the table, get the drinks ready, sort out the cutlery. I've had a clean up, got everything tidied away and sorted. I've got the rice ready to go. So that's come out of the microwave. So I can have that to the plate. Now this is pure basmati rice. Here I have a cube of garlic and a cube of ginger. It's something that you don't necessarily need to add in. However, if you do, it's gonna really, really increase the flavor profile of the dish. This is a frozen cube and a frozen cube. All you have to do is microwave it for 30 seconds and it's ready to use. I'm gonna depressurize, adding a towel over the top and stopping the heat warm. If you wanted to keep this warm for a further four hours, you can leave it running on keep warm. Just before serving, we're getting ready to add the last ingredients. Now to speed up the process of depressurization, we can lift the valve and that will allow it to depressurize more quickly. Putting the towel over just stops any spatter, stops any steam rising. So this is now depressurized and it's ready to open. It certainly looks good. So I just need to give that a stir. I like to add garlic and ginger. It increases the flavor enormously. So we can add that straight in. I'm also gonna put this onto brown or saute. This will just allow it to boil and it will combine the flavors whilst we're adding the last remaining ingredients. So we have the corn flour here. Corn flour is here for thickening, so we want to add that. We may or may not need water, dependent on how the consistency is, according to your preference. So it's beginning to boil and bubble. That's what we're hoping to go for allow it to boil for a few minutes just to infuse the flavour. Now I will add it's generally a good idea to pre-chill the pineapple if you can, that way it'll hold its texture and hold its firmness much much longer and it will be much better with a bit of bite in the dish as you eat it. I can really smell the ginger and the garlic infusing. It smells absolutely delicious. So we only really need to leave this to boil for a couple of minutes, just to allow the remaining flavors and the remaining ingredients to infuse before serving. So I'm gonna switch this off. This is now ready to serve just allow it to settle. You could add more corn flour if you want to have a thicker mixture, or you can leave it as it is, dependent on the consistency that you want. The rice will soak up a lot of the, a lot of the sauce. Now the mixture settled, we're ready to serve.
I hope you've enjoyed the video today. This is cooking the easy way. Let's get to tasting. The flavor in this is absolutely incredible. You really have to try this for yourselves. Honestly, this is so good. The amount of effort it takes, how healthy it is, and for the amount of flavor that you get, this is absolutely fantastic. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching the video as much as I've enjoyed making it, and I hope you'll enjoy eating the food as much as I will enjoy eating it too. Hope to see you again. Please like and subscribe, and if there's anything you'd like to see or any comments you'd like to make, please share them with me. I'd love to hear them. Thanks again.